Hi, this is uh, Dr. Nurbat Shah from University of Engineering and Technology, Peshawar. Uh, my today lecture is uh, about uh, use of calculator for solution of uh, non-linear algebraic equations, uh, transcendental equation, uh, by using bisection method. Uh, in this uh, lecture, my main focus will be on the use of calculator. How do we use calculator to uh, find solution of non-linear equation through bisection method. So let me first explain what are the ma uh, step, main steps of uh, bisection method. Uh, let's suppose we want to solve an, an equation uh, f of x is equal to 0. This equation, you need to express the, an equation in this form first. Uh, the right hand side must be 0, whereas the left hand side should be a function of x. We, we need to find solution of this type of equation. Uh, okay, initially you would know where the root of this equation lies. For that purpose, uh, obviously you need two numbers, real numbers a and b, where the function will have opposite sign on, on these points. For that purpose, we say f of a into f of b, uh, that must be less than zero. That means f of a and f of b both have opposite signs. If that is the case, the equation will be having one root in the interval. A, B. Okay, so the next step is what we would find midpoint of uh, uh, the interval, right? And let's denote that by XR. And you know, how do we find midpoint of an interval? That is simply A plus B divided by 2. Once you have found XR, you would find the value of this function at this point XR. If this value is 0, okay, it means you are done. The root is already found and I don't need to repeat the process. But if it is not zero, then there is possibility that f of a and f of x r they have opposite sign. If that is the case, f of a and f of x r if they have opposite sign, in that case you would replace uh, uh, b in the previous calculations. B that would be replaced with what with x r, and then you would repeat the process. Otherwise. If that is not the case, if f of a and f of uh, x r, they uh, have same sign, it means if this is greater than zero, in that case, uh, a will be replaced with x r. And then you will repeat this process. You will go back. You will be having another interval now where according to one end of this interval will be replaced with x r depending on the signs of the function values. Okay, uh, let me do that. Uh, explain this with example okay uh, and then i'll do that through the calculator as well so let's suppose we want to solve this equation x cube minus x minus one is equal to zero and this will be our f of x as well f of x will be x cube minus x minus one so you see in this case f of one that give you one cube minus one minus one which is uh, uh, minus one that is negative and uh, if you put x equal to 2, that will be 2 cube minus 2 minus 1, which give you obviously 5, and 5 is greater than 0. It means uh, the function has opposite sign at x equal to 1 and x equal to 2. So the root of this equation will be in this interval 1 to 2. And we call a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2. Okay, so it means the root is in the uh, interval 1, 2, as we label that with a and b. Now, what do we do? We go to the next step, that is uh, by finding uh, the midpoint of this interval 1, 2, which could be simply found as 1 plus 2 divided by 2, that is 1.5. Now, we find the value of uh, this function at x equal to 1.5, which is positive. Now, it is positive f of a or f of 1 that is negative. It means we'll be taking this interval next time and we neglect this one. We will be forgetting about this one. We just leave this part now because we, we have a positive value. So if you get a positive value here, you will drop the positive a function with a positive value. Okay. And then uh, we consider worse. So it means that the root of this equation will be you know, in interval 1 and 1.5. Because as I said, we have, we have to replace b with this x r. In this case, it's x1. So the next interval will be 1 to 1.5.
okay and then uh, you have to repeat it again find the midpoint so x2 is now 1 plus 1.5 divided by 2 which is 1.25 and we find the value of f of 1.25 so f of 1.25 that would give you the value minus uh, 0.296875 which is negative now this is negative we have this is a positive this is negative this is the positive value. So what would you do in this case? Now we'll be dropping the previous negative value, which was minus one. So we simply drop that. It means now the root is between 1.5, f of 1.5 is positive, whereas f of 1.25 is negative. So the root will be in the interval uh, uh, 1.25 to 1.5. And in similar way, we can find x3, then checking its sign, x4, x5, that's the method we use. Now, how do we do that through a calculator? So let me explain that with, with calculator, okay. You see, uh, the first step is you need to uh, convert the matrix mode into math mode. That means you should go to one here. So you are in now in math mode. And also keeping in mind the calculator mode must be in radians. Uh, if you're solving a transcendental equation having trigonometric functions okay so once you have done that what do we do we have to use this alpha and then introducing some uh, some variables so what do we do we first uh, find the midpoint here so for that purpose let me call that as uh, x whatever you call it it's up to you i'm calling it x now x and then again alpha to assign this some value Keeping in mind, we'll be using this equal, don't use this equal sign, okay? So what would we do? We simply take a plus b divided by two. So I will simply take a, then plus b. Here is my b, and then I come down to two, okay? And then I'll be defining what? I'll be defining the function here. Whatever you call it, it's up to you. So let me, let's have a separator, this double dot, and then we define this function here. See, this is the function f of x. So what would I do? I will simply uh, introduce another variable. Let me call that f. Then this equal, and then we have, you see, x cube. So I'll go for it, that is x cube. x cube is here, so I'll go with shift. So that's x cube, and then minus x, right, and then, this is my x and then minus one okay so uh, you have to give these two values first that obviously calculator will be asking about it and once you have given these things you will be getting all these values so let, let me explain the procedure so once you have done these things you simply press this calc button this is used for calculation now it asked about uh, a what do you want to give the value of a? So if you see here, we have given it one. So I'll simply press one and then press equal. So, and then I'll be uh, asking for b. So b has been taken as two. So I'll just give it two and then press equal. So you see, we have uh, three by two or it's simply 1.5. That's the midpoint. And let's find this value directly by using calculator. If I press equal, it would give me uh, this positive value 0.875. Now, this is the positive value. You must remember that uh, at one, the function has negative value, and at two, the function is positive value. So, if you have positive here, value here, the value of function is positive, what would we do? We would replace the value of b with this new value of x. So, how would we do that? I simply press equal, it will ask again for a. Now, I don't replace this uh, one because I'll be using the same value here and press equal again. Now, I'm interested to change the value of B with X. So, I don't need to uh, write this value back 1.5. I'll simply say I'm giving you X value. So, we simply see the next value is 5 by 4, which is 1.25. If we put equal press uh, and then that will give you minus 296875. Now, this is negative. And the previous negative was at 1, that is a. So I'll be replacing now the value of a with x. Right? So I'll simply replace this value with x. I don't need to change the value of b. It will remain the same. So I'm getting next value is 1.375.
right? There should be three seven five. I don't know if I forget there. Uh, so it, it's one point three seven five. Okay, and then you press the button equal to get a positive value. Now you see we are having positive. The previous positive value was at uh, um, x equal to one point five, which was taken as b. So I'll be replacing now b with x. So just going for not this one. Press equal. So I don't replace five by four with it. I just replace b with x to get the next value, which is 1.3125. This will be x4, obviously. And then you press equal. So we get a negative value. So I'll be replacing the previous negative value, which was at a. So next time I would replace a and so on. So if you repeat this procedure, obviously you will be converging to some rules. You see, uh, it's 5 by 4, and you may go for this one. So we will be replacing this A with X. Previous time we replaced B with X, now you replace this one. And then you press simply equal to get the next value, 34375. And if you check the value, it will be positive value. So if you are getting positive value, it means we'll be leaving the next, the previous positive value, and so on. So I may replace this B with X now. This is X, so just press equal. So we get a next value is 1.328125. You see, and then you find the value of our function, which is again positive. So I'll be replacing A again with X and so on. So the procedure will be accordingly uh, continued unless we get a correct answer up to three decimal places or four decimal places and and so on so i i hope you got this one thank you very much see you in next